Wolfsburg are your leaders are currently over the top flight in Germany as Bayern beat down their necks. But who's going to be there at the end of this match day? We'll have a little look next. Right, folks, back once again another prediction video today. We're looking forward to match day number four in the Bundesliga, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you been? Smash your subscribe button. You're paying up to date with all things Bundesliga related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football related. We got it all here. Under one Ruski, that's right, of course. Wolfsburg are 100% uh, heading into this, of course, after three matches so far, so good for them. But by Leverkusen, by Munchen, and of course, Freiburg are, of course, hot on the heels uh, to try and get themselves top of the table. And we'll have a look at where they stand in just a second. Of course, big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the Patreons, boys and girls. Thank you for your love. I do appreciate it. Um, but if you are interested in supporting the channel in another way, check out those links down below. So here we go then, lads. Here we go. Take a look back, of course, uh, the previous match day. See who, how I did. See how uh, you guys did. Of course, where you are in the prediction league. So here we uh, go. Of course, kicking on back then, shall we? Because Dortmund did uh, play Hoffenheim in a bit of a thriller, five goal thriller in the end. Uh, 3 2 in favour of Dortmund. I actually went with a 2 0 win myself. Stuttgart uh, got myself a bit of a. Uh, oh, I got myself wrong on this one. I went with a 1 0 win for Stuttgart on this one. 3 2 win it was for Freiburg, so I don't get a point for that one. Uh, meanwhile, Mainz against Grafter Firth was a 3 0 win for Mainz. Grafter Firth have a bit of trouble already uh, towards the bottom end of the table. 2 1 win for me. Not too shabby. Augsburg. Lost to Leverkusen, big win on the road, 4-1 win for Leverkusen, 2 to win was my pick. Fra uh, Bielefeld got a 1-1 draw against Frankie, I called that one, got that one bang on the nose. Köln against Bochum also ended up as a 2-1 win for uh, Köln, I went with a 2 to win myself. Bayern uh, ran right against Hertha Berlin, 5 nil in the end, 3 nil win was my pick. Uh, my boys, Mitchell Kabeck did lose to Union Berlin, but I got the pick right on the money, of course, I did see it in, in, my, in my eyes. 2-1 win, got the one. Of course, spot on. And Wolfsburg played Leipzig. Uh, I went with the draw, but it was a 1-0 win for Wolfsburg, of course. And as you can see, I did pretty well for myself. So I think I got myself 7 out of 9, 8, 2 shabby. Of course, I'm uh, uh, removing this one uh, for the time being. But anyway, let's have a look at Mount the table as it stands. This is his. Of course, Wolfsburg are 100% uh, and 3 uh, from 3. Uh, of course, 2 points clear of Leverkusen and Bayern with Freiburg breathing down the next. Dortmund are in the mix as well up to 5th. And down the foot of the table is Hertha Berlin and Augsburg going down as it stands. Grather Firth also in a bit of trouble. My boys, Munchen Gladbach, need a bit of a, a boost uh, into the month of September. But anyway, that's the situation in the table. Let's have a little look at the leaderboard then for the prediction league. This is for this week and this week alone. Russell Frost is your man. He got himself eight there. Absolute zinger, zinger, chicken dinner. Of course, Max Sangardi not too far away either. Now again, uh, Caravan Wright, Conor Meldon, and of course, Jim Watton also up there with six. Not too shabby with you guys, boys. But the overall situation as it stands, of course, for this right here, right now, looks like this. Now again, uh, and Russell Frost are your managers of the month, of course. We'll uh, talk about that probably next week. Uh, I'm actually on the road or will be on the road very, very soon. So we'll talk about that one when we get back. Tom Stain and Max Sangardi also not too far away either. That's of course uh, the situation in the Bundesliga. Of course lots of work to be done still, lots of points to be had uh, but this is the new static link for you for the for the, for the prediction league for the Bundesliga. Of course it will never change. Week in, week out, you just go here put your predictions in. I'll be there to remind you of course every weekday with the, with the course of the video so make sure you check that sucker out uh, to get your predictions. It is free to enter, you can still get involved and you can still even win. Uh, of course that's why the manager of the month is crucial. I'll talk about that next week. Um... Because officially, we're only allowed to have one manager of the month. And next week, we'll do some sort of la a, a, like a like a like a, a, a tr uh, pick them out of the hat. Are those two that that one? You, you'll know what I mean. Anyway, let's get going. The show, of course, no no mucking about. We've got a lot to talk about. Uh, kicking all off with the next match round of matches. Of course, Leverkusen will take a Dortmund, a bit of a big one over the Bay Arena on the 11th of September. It'll be the 59th time they play each other. Previous occasions: 21 tie, 21 wins for Leverkusen, 22 wins for Dortmund, and 15 draws. The biggest win for either of the two sides was a 4 0 win. Of course, last time around at Leverkusen was a 2 1 win for Leverkusen. Last time the uh, the uh, home uh, team lost in this match, of course, was back to 18 when Dortmund beat Leverkusen. Of course, at the Bay Arena, heading into this. Of course, Leverkusen looking very, very good at the moment. Unbeaten um, start to the campaign. Uh, picking up two wins and a draw to boot. As for Dortmund, a bit of a robbery start, of course. Uh, uh, did pick up a win uh, against Frankie. Uh, they lost to Freiburg and picked up a win against Hoffenheim, of course. So they were six points out of nine, not too shabby in the end. Uh, of course, heading into this one, of course, the bookie starts. We have 9 to 4, Leverkusen 11 to 4 is your draw, 20 to 10, 20 is your away. I mean, that's Dortmund. I don't know, though. I'm going to go with the hosts, I think, on this one. 3 2 win, of course. They ain't no slouches, especially at home. So I think they'll uh, they'll come out with the W on this one. Union Berlin taking on uh, Augsburg also on the same day. Uh, that's the 11th of September. 
September at the uh, Anne de Alten Fosterei. Uh, played for that eight times in 2009. Three wins at Augsburg, one win for Union Berlin, four draws, of course. Uh, the biggest win for Union Berlin, two new win. The biggest win the other way it was a 3 1 win. Last time I played for the course in Union Berlin was a 3 1 win for Augsburg, that big one, of course, and that was back in September 2020. Heading into this, of course, Union Berlin picking up a, a, a pretty decent start. Uh, I think they're unbeaten uh, in the Bundesliga, actually uh, picking up uh, two wins and two draws. So two wins uh, and, and one win and two draws so far. Of course, they've been busy in the uh, the Conference League as well, so they've been uh, they've been very very active. Of course, on the flip side, Augsburg come into this. Uh, not great, not great for them, of course, yet to get going. Uh, uh, winless, winless so far. I've just got the one point so far, the three games, so not great for them. Heading into this one, the book is ours. We have what do we have on the on this one? Four to three on is you, Berlin. The thirteen to five is your draw. 7-2 is your away win, that is Augsburg on this. Going to go with the hosts on this one, Union Berlin, with the 2 nil W in the end. Freiburg, surprise uh, situation, of course, towards the top end of the table, uh, will take on Kuhn over in Freiburg, also on September. The 11th place of the 37 times since 1993. 18 wins for Freiburg, 13 wins for Kuhn, and 6 draws. Of course, the biggest win for Freiburg over Kuhn was a 5 nil win. The biggest win the other way was a 4 nil win. Last night, picture that in Freiburg was, in fact, that 5 nil win. That was back in January 2021. Of course, heading into this, Freiburg looked very, very good at the moment. Of course, picking up wins against Stuttgart and Dortmund and also a draw against Bielefeld. On the flip side, Kuhn also doing very, very well. Picking up a couple of wins as well against Hertha Berlin and Bochum. Those were at home. And they also had a narrow loss against Bayern, of course. 3-2 loss over in the Allianz Arena. So they fancy the chances on this one. 11-10 to 10 is your Freiburg, 23-10 is your Kuhn and 5-2 is your draw. I'm going to go with a, a draw on this one. And I think they'll both be happy with that one, of course. Continue their a pretty decent start campaign. Hoffenheim will take on Mainz, though, on the same match day. Of course, September the 11th. Uh, they play each other 26 times since 2007. 8 wins for Hoffenheim, 10 wins for uh, Mainz. 8 draws. The biggest win for Hoffenheim. Over Mainz was a 4 0 win. The biggest win in the way was a 5 1 win. Last time I played, of course, in uh, Hoffenheim was a 2 1 win for Mainz. In fact, Mainz got to go back to uh, 2019 for the last win over uh, uh, Hoffenheim. Uh, sorry, sorry, hold that. Hold that thought. Hoffenheim last one back in 2020 in Mainz. Of course, last time uh, Hoffenheim beat Mainz at home uh, was a 4 2 win back in 2018, of course. Wow, wow, we were. Of course, heading into this, though, Hoffenheim. Uh, okay, start 1 1 loss for Jubal so far for the first three games of the season. As for the flip side, Mainz still okay as well. Won twice, of course. Picking up wins against Grantham first and Leipzig, of course, they lost to Bochum, though, uh, uh, on the road. So their home form is critical for Mainz, but, of course, they're on the road on this one. Uh, pleasure, uh, uh, the odds on this one, even Stevens is your Hoffenheim. Of course, 35 is your draw, 35 is your way win. That is Mainz. That's right. Two to win for Hoffenheim in the end. Grantham first taking on Wolfsburg. Let's get into this one then, shall we? Of course, uh, they play each other uh, five times in 2006. Three wins for Wolfsburg, two for Grantham first, no draws. Uh, the biggest win for Wolfsburg over Grantham first was a 4 0 win. Uh, of course, last time pleasure in Grantham first was a 1 0 win back in 2013. Wow, wow. We won the Bundesliga, that's right. Of course, it's so far pretty terrible for Gratha Firth. Uh, just the one point so far, picking up a draw at, B uh, at home against Bielefeld. Uh, their away form is shoddy. Conceded eight goals in just two games. Wolfsburg on the flip side are top of the pops, three from three. Of course, we're looking to make it four as well. 19 to four is your host, uh, 20 to 11 on is your Wolfsburg, three to one is your draw on this. I'm going to go with a win on this one for Wolfsburg, of course, uh, to keep on their fantastic start. Next up, we have a bit of a zinger. It is, of course, Nagelsmann up against his old boys. That's Leipzig, that's right. It's Leipzig. Uh, against Bayern at the Red Bull Arena. Played each other 12 times in 2016. Just the one win uh, for Leipzig. Seven wins for Bayern and, of course, four draws. That one only win for Leipzig was a 2-1 win. The biggest win the other way was a 3-0 win. Last time I played each other in Leipzig was the one win for Bayern, of course. That one and only win for Leipzig. I'm going to have to go back a bit. I've got to go back. Was a, uh, When was it? When was it? It was a 2-1 win back in 2018 in Leipzig. Um, on the flip side... No, it's just terrible. It's just terrible. Even though it's like first against second from last time around, you would still fancy Bayern to win on this one. Of course, Bayern so far so good for them. Uh, picked up a draw, though, on opening day against uh, Munchen Gladbach. Of course, um, uh, beating Köln narrowly and, of course, smashing it past Hertha Berlin as well. On the flip side, Leipzig, not a great start for them. Uh, just one win so far in the first three games. So they are a bit of a bit of a, a rough start for them for, for Jesse Marsh. Uh, 21-10 to 10 is your Leipzig. I'll even Stevens is your Bayern, of course. 3-1 to 1 is your draw. Uh, I'm going to go with a win on this one for the away team. That's right, 3-1 win. Bayern or Doobie it will be fantastic uh, into Sunday's matches we go of course Frankie up against uh, Stuttgart of course this is what Saturday, uh, Sunday the uh, 12th of uh, September let's get into this one then of course they play each other 42 times since 1992 20 wins for Stuttgart 11 wins for Frankie and 11 draws the biggest win for either two sides was a 4 near win uh, the biggest win uh, of course um, last time played each other in Frankie was of course back in March 2021 it was a 1-1 draw of course the past two games were back-to-back -back draws of course uh, last time the other two sides was in two, uh, one was back in 2019 it was a 3-4 Frankie of course 
course. Last time that Stuttgart one was 2018 in Stuttgart, uh, of course. Uh, heading into this one, though, uh, Frankie, um, not the great start for them, of course. Back-to-back uh, -back draws for them, of course. Uh, also a loss to Dortmund. On the flip side, Stuttgart coming into this. Uh, okay, start for Well, they had a good start against Grafler first. Since then, it's been back-to-back -back defeats. Also, not looking very good at the moment. Of course, the odds on this one, 20 to 79 is your Frankie. They are your favourites, 14 to 5. Is your draw, 30 to 5. Is your way win that is Stuttgart on this one. Going to go with the hosts on this. 2 and win to take the three points. Next up, we have Bochum taking on Hertha Berlin, also on Sunday, September. The 12th pleasure the 30 times since 1993. 12 wins for Hertha Berlin, 7 wins for Bochum, and 11 draws. The biggest win for Bochum over Hertha Berlin, 4 nil win. The biggest, sorry, 4 1 win. The biggest win the other way was a 4 nil win. That's right. Last time pleasure in Bochum was a 1 1 draw. Last other page other in uh, Bochum, uh, in competitive action, was in the Spider Bundesliga back in October 2012. It was a 2-0 win for Hertha Berlin. Uh, heading into this Bochum so far, not great. Just 1-1, one, one, a lost 2. As for Hertha Berlin, uh, three defeats on the spin there. I'm in a bit of trouble at the moment, uh, of course. Uh, look at the odds on this one. We have a 20 to 10 is your Bochum, 30 to 10 is your Hertha Berlin, 23 to 10 is your draw. I'm actually going to go with a draw on this one. Can't separate the two sides. Can you? Let me know. Make sure you get your picks in, of course, using the static code. Next up, and finally, we have drive back. Taking, of course, uh, Armenia Biffa on Sunday, uh, September the 12th. Played each other 23 times since 1996. 15 wins for Gladbach, 4 wins for Bielefeld, 4 draws. The biggest win for Gladbach over Bielefeld was a 4 near win. 5 near win, sorry. The biggest win was a 4 1 win. Uh, last time on the page, of course, uh, in Gladbach was, in fact, that 5 near win. That was back in April 2021. So hopefully Gladbach will be looking to get that, of course. So far, pretty shitty for Gladbach, of course, picking up just the one point that was against uh, Bayern at home. Of course, there's been back to back away games for them, so not great. Uh, on the flip side, Bielefeld coming to this back to back draws. In fact, uh, 3 draws so far this season unbeaten it is beautiful they're grinding out the results the odds on this one two to one is your glad back ten to three is your draw six to one is your long shots that is our media beautiful on this one so i'm going to go with the hosts finally getting the win two to win finally get the move in of course climb the table that's my picks for match number four be sure to get yours in of course using the static code right here and also let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section of course we look forward to hearing what you have to say but that's it be sure to give the video some of it smash your thumbs up smash your subscribe check out those links down below i'm on twitter i'm on twitch i'm on facebook of course and also on patreon if you want to support the channel in another way become a brother from another mother we're trying to get those numbers up there i think we're up to i don't know we're in the teens right now we're like we, we could do with a couple more so make sure you get involved with that check it out become a new best mate for life until then i'll see you soon till then we're done